sometimes we can um, help with that. We have two different um, forums where we're battling these DUI cases, DMV, the administrative per se process, which where the, the Department of Motor Vehicles in California is just looking to suspend your driver's license. And then the court case where if you get convicted of a DUI, your license would be uh, suspended typically for six months. It could be longer depending on the, the alcohol level. If you're at a 0.20 or higher, sometimes it's a longer suspension. So in regards to negotiating the length of suspension, um, if we can win the hearing with DMV and if we can get the uh, DUI charges reduced to a wet reckless in court, then you're looking at no suspension at all. Um, if you do get a regular DUI in court, there's no negotiating the six-month suspension that you're going to get. It's either six months of no driving or six months with an ignition interlock on your car or um, one month of no driving followed by 12 months of work-only restricted driving. Um, where negotiating can come in is in um, you know negotiating with the DA to try and get them to reduce the charges, which can help because if we get a wet reckless in court, but we're not able to win the DMV hearing, and the DMV hearing is, they're tough to win. We win plenty of them, but they're tough to win because um, the burden of proof for DMV is just so low. It's a lot lower than in court where it's a beyond a reasonable doubt. We can actually sometimes have an impact on the length of a suspension um, is, is with DMV dealing with refusal cases, which unfortunately happen a lot. And they're the hardest cases to win with DMV because the penalty there, if you refuse to take a chemical test, is one year minimum of no driving. And it could be longer if you have previous DMV actions or issues that have to do with uh, DUI or alcohol-related uh, offenses. So what happens is an officer admonishes you and, and claims that you refuse to take a test when they said you have to do breath or blood or, or you will be suspended for a year. If they don't word things right, and sometimes in Marin County they don't, um, or if there are issues, things that are left out of these reports by the officers, sometimes I can negotiate with DMV to change what in many cases or what you know less experienced lawyers would end up having a, a one-year suspension for their client, I can sometimes um, turn this into just a regular suspension. Um, the one-year suspension from DMV is no driving for a year, no restriction, no IID, no nothing. You don't drive for a minimum of a year. But if I can negotiate something here based on my knowledge of, of refusal cases and what might be missing or have done been done wrong or what defense I can come up with, then I can either, you know, try and completely beat the uh, the DMV hearing or what can sometimes happen with negotiating is I can talk to the hearing officer and my knowledge of, of these hearing officers and knowing them pretty well helps here because they know I know the law and what they can and can't do. And sometimes we can get them to negotiate a 0.08 suspension, which is like a regular DUI. What that does is that allows the client to get a restricted license. So someone who needs their license, and we're talking about 99% of my clients have to have a license, can't go a year without a license. Um, that would allow them to get a interlock license um, where they can drive anywhere, anytime, wherever they want to go, uh, or a work-restricted license so that they can get to and from work and work-related driving. So there is some negotiating in some of these cases. It's just you got to know, you know, when and where it can happen, and you really need a, an experienced DUI lawyer who can help with that because so many have no clue about what they're doing in this area. And because of that, they those lawyers call me all the time and ask for help and advice. And uh, like with any potential or current client that's calling me um, to discuss their case, um, I'm always happy to help other attorneys as well because we're all in this together 
and we're just trying to get the best results for our clients because we are up against the government and the penalties are very severe and there are reasons why they're severe. No one thinks it's okay to go out and drive drunk, um, but the refusal penalties are really harsh. And so sometimes we can save jobs and, you know, allow people to still drive their kids to and from school and things like that by knowing how to negotiate these cases.